mass ratio in line. Tracking solved. Hello everyone, this is Captain Sobon. Welcome aboard the Starship of Normal Prize for another... I didn't know they actually did that. Cool, so now I just magically figured out how to get rid of the um, show everything command. Apparently it's alt. <laughs> I'm used to accidentally hitting that to, um, to look at things. But anyways, um, we are defending Rachel. She is docked inside the base. Uh, we have a massive fleet coming in over here. You get over here. You two. Get up here. Attack. You guys attack that. Capisi, we need reinforcements. So Rachel is docked in. She's retrieving some artifacts, and we're trying to defend the area while she does that. Oh, yeah, missile batteries. Yeah, railgun, get over here. Awesome. Our air reinforcements have just arrived. Take care of that. Missile. Move. Okay, well, that was a fun wake-up call. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll post that nation in three minutes. Oh boy. Now. With the amount of data they've collected, they may know what the primary anomaly is. Oh no. Not the primary anomaly. I can do this. Just be ready for me when I'm done. Rachel, no! We can't lose you! Ooh, the Sakala came in. Uh-oh. There is a large fleet all over the horizon. The Gaussian are on their way. And that is a large fleet. I don't have the firepower to handle that fleet yet. Oh boy. The Gaussian forces have split into two groups and are advancing towards the main complex perimeter. They are forming a blockade around the facility to prevent uh -oh. their escape from the blast. Well a path through the blockade for Rachel to escape. Clear a path? You crazy? Go for armor. Move order confirmed. Um, ready for command. Maintenance protocols and enemy contacts on the board. <laughs> Make ready. What the heck do they want me to do? They have air units. Read. Or they have um those guys. Cruiser ready. Great Cruisers get over here. I don't know what they want me to do. Set new heading. I guess we can continue to pursue here. Going mobile. Hostile production cruiser verified. Take it out. This is the captain. We're just gonna have to send everything. This isn't gonna be very effective, but I don't really know what to do. Copy that. Bomber on deck. Tracking armored craft on approach. Support cruiser under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Target! Deflection set! Fire charge! Whoa, you have some cool buttons. Go for order. Oh sweet, that actually worked. Good, good. Go ahead. Enemy armor Woohoo! Okay, so this cruiser is pretty cool. Repeat, group three lost. And I'll screw three. Clearing the outpost hangar now. This is Rachel, go ahead. All units. Rachel! Everything, get together. Move, move. Rachel, moving out. Receiving. Online. Confirm. Combat alert. Bomber destroyed. Oh, did we kill a bomber or did we lose a bomber? Probably lost a bomber. That's okay. Online. Target locked. Alert. Rachel is under fire. Green line confirmed. Reading. Rachel, move. Reading. Target is fire. Everyone, get up here. Protect Rachel. Rachel, use your EMP to slow enemies down. Thank you. Move, move, move. Back to the Capisi. Capisi. 
Um, launch your fighters. Help out. There we go. Run, Rachel, run! Boom, boom. Base has been destroyed. Like, like a 70s action scene. Yes, I read you. That was close. A little too close for comfort. Yes. Wow. I should have just continued recording last week's episode. <laughs> Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Capisi. The Galcian. Ghosts of the desert. We learn more about our enemy with each passing day. Rachel says they believe in a terrible place where their god, Sajuk, placed his people as punishment for their sins. They refer to it as Kartoba, or First City. Ah. They believe their spiritual and military leader, the Kahad Sajuk, will become the instrument of God's will and ascend to hmm. rule over all of Karak once he enters the temple of Kartoba. Is there a kernel of truth hidden amongst these myths? And if so, what is it? That actually makes a lot of sense because in Homeworld 1, the um, one of the uh, ships in, inside in space that you learn in uh, the nebula was known as the Kartoba, which the um, uh, the uh, the Kadeshi um, used as kind of like a sacred ground for their uh, um, their spiritual stuff and whatnot. So it's interesting that the Kalis or the uh, Gaussian believe that the Sajuk will save us all, which is funny because in the Homeworld 2, um, uh, the Homeworld 2 lore, uh, that's pretty much what you're going after. You're trying to save yourself by finding Sajuk. I really do like how they tie all these storylines together. Uh, Blackbird did a pretty good job on um, all this stuff that's going on. I'm not too familiar with the Galician um, when it comes to Homeworld lore, so I'm just going to go with uh, what they do in this game. But so far, really, really cool. But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. I know it's a very, very short. Um, I was expecting that one, that part to be a lot more hectic. It was very hectic, but I was actually expecting to probably have to restart a couple times. So, um, yeah. <laughs> this is just going to have to be a short one. There's nothing I can really do. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Sovan signing out. Mm -hmm.